Let's examine the word is, as in, Jose is taller than me. Let's see if we can figure out which parts of is we know and which parts we have to learn by heart. Is has two sounds, is. The first sound, I, short I, is spelled with the letter I. We can read this part using our phonics knowledge. The last sound, s, is spelled with the letter s. Sometimes the letter S spells Z instead of the S sound we expect. This is the one part we have to know by heart. We might see the word is in different shapes, colors, and sizes. Is, 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 is. These all have the same letters and they all say is. Now let's see if you can remember how to spell the word is. 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 We can use our phonics knowledge to spell the first sound. The first sound is short I. I. How do we spell I? You've got it. The letter I. The second sound Z is the part we have to learn by heart. Do you remember how to spell Z in this word? Yes, we use the letter S. I. S. Is. S spells Z in lots of other common words too, like his, has, and was. This is important to remember when we are learning to read. Remembering heart words is easier when we know there is just one part to learn by heart.